Well, hello, First Presbyterian Church. It is April 10th, 2020, and we continue to miss worshiping with you and gathering with you for fellowship in the midweek. And yet, uh, throughout all of this change, we continue to remember Christ's kingly reign on the throne over his people, over his church, and over the universe that was made uh, through him. And so uh, we look forward to the Lord's Day when we will again have our live stream. Uh, we're thankful to Beth West and Macy Sheets uh, for providing uh, some music for that to help us in our family worship in our homes on Sunday mornings. Uh, but, you know, even though there's been many uh, changes, many things canceled and suspended, the pattern of the Christian life remains the same, at least in its, in its broad outlines, doesn't it? On the first day of the week, we continue to remember and celebrate and testify to our joy because of Christ's resurrection from the dead. Now, this isn't something that we observe once a year or, or only for part of the year. But the Lord's Day, the first day of the week, is when we celebrate Christ's victory over the grave. And his victory over the grave is important for us, too, because it testifies to us an assurance that God's wrath has been satisfied. And that's what the empty tomb says. On the cross, God displays the full measure of his justice for our sin. As Christ offers a sacrifice of himself to satisfy that divine justice. But when Christ is raised from the dead, that shows that God has accepted his sacrifice, that Christ is a just man, and that his death was in the place of sinners like us. And so we can have great confidence because of the empty tomb and his uh, resurrection in our place. Paul reminds us of, of some of the benefits of his resurrection for us in Romans uh, chapter 6. Uh, the apostle writes, Now if we have died with Christ... We believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. And so if we are in Christ, Christian, if you are in Christ, Christian, then death no longer has dominion over you. And if death no longer has dominion over you, then it is God in Christ who has that dominion over you. And so I want to encourage you, as we approach uh, the Lord's Day, another Lord's Day where we're kept uh, from one another, another Lord's Day uh, where we couldn't come to the Lord's table uh, because we can't come together. But it is nonetheless a day where we remember our Savior has triumphed over the grave. And if we are in Him, then we have triumphed over the grave in Him, right, through our union with Christ and our communion uh, with Him. And so go forth uh, boldly, and joyously, and with peace, knowing that Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen.